Guys, I'm um, sorry I haven't posted in a while. Been working, been doing stuff. So, hatch is sold. Okay. I right, you guys saw that in the last video. I hope. Um, here's all the extra set, extra shit. I have fenders. I have two like half headers, and then I have like two starters, two alternators, like six or seven, no six or eight um, engine mounts. Brackets for the motor mounts, tie rods, two harnesses, like three water pumps, two charcoal canisters, all that good stuff. I have a drive shaft, five piece, uh, five speed. Um, what else? Stock suspension. Oh, I have like three mafs, like three of them. Um, what else? I got hella shit from Seagull Cam. So if anybody needs shit, hit me up. That'd be great. Um, working on the truck today. I know I just bought it like a fucking week ago, but you know, because of America, um, it's already making having problems. The belt tensioner pulley went out. I don't know if you can hear that, but it makes noise. And if you look, that is not how a pulley should look and make noise like that. This, I guess we got, went to AutoZone, picked this up, 16 bucks. No noise, nothing. Has a one year warranty. Used to work there, so, you know, eh. Yeah, I don't really think highly of them. But 16 bucks instead of buying a new belt tensioner. Um, if that doesn't work and I still have squeaky noises, it will be the belt tensioner and I will change that. But, yeah. Um, it was super simple to diagnose. What you do is you have the car running or the truck running and you squeeze a little bit of water onto the, like a dry pulley. And if the squeaking goes away, then it's the belt. You need to tighten up the belt. If, it doesn't, if the squeaking doesn't go away, it's either a pulley. Also, you want to look at the belt and see if it's wobbling or not, like back and forth. You'll see it, like, do this when you're looking down the um, belt, the serpentine belt. Um, but, yeah. So, I'm going to reinstall this, and I'll show you a video of me doing it. I'll try to do it one-handed. It's kind of fucking hard, because this is a big truck, and... Just taking the tension off, I didn't expect it to be that tight, and it was. <laughs> that fucker was tight. So I'll try to take a video, but yeah, this is what I'm doing today. And uh, there she is right there. There she is right there. So pumped. So, yeah, I'll keep you updated in a second. Okay, guys, so I fixed it. It's all good now. Um... So it's pretty, it's pretty easy. It took me like 15 minutes. Um, all you have to do is you have to get a socket wrench, three eighths, stick it in there and move the tension that way towards the driver's side of the car. Then you slip off the alternator pulley, like off the, slip it off with the uh, belt. And then what you do after that, it, it comes off and then you unbolt this this is a 13 millimeter and then after that you take there's a back bolt and it's a t50 hex and you take that off and then you buy the new pulley put the new pulley on i greased it a little bit and then you repeat the process and put that this back on the 13 mil tighten it and then you so this is kind of tricky how this goes like I was having a little bit of a problem. Um, so what was happening was you have to sneak the belt up. So you wrap, like you put it through and you pick it up and then you just follow the diagram, which is right here. Mine has AC. And then you pull the tensioner this way to put that on. It's easier with two people. Cause I guess went underneath the truck and I pulled the tensioner that way and while everything was on and then you just slip the alternator back on and then it's all fixed and it's good yeah yeah it feels okay but uh yeah that was it and then um then yeah so i hope you guys like this video um hopefully tomorrow i'm picking up a surprise and i will record the journey there and hopefully i can uh, get it and if i get it i'll post it on youtube and this will be fucking awesome because this will be goals as fuck um 
but yeah, I'm so pumped. This is, I'm not even kidding. Like, this is amazing how pumped I am right now. Um, so yeah, have a good day, guys. You know, enjoy life and peace.